Good afternoon, YouTube pie smokers. I'm just leaving work. I'm going to be hot this week as the week goes on. 100 by the weekend. Well, you know, I just wanted to come on and say, yeah, I received a package from Simon today. And I had bought a pipe from him. I think I bought about four, four or five pipes from him now. And in it was this pipe that he gifted me, the one he made, really nice pipe. But that's not the point of the video. The point is, you know, the YTPC, I'm really thankful to be a part of it. And that's where, you know, I said it before, YouTube is really a privilege because of the ability that we all have a TV studio. In this case, today, I'm in my Jeep. But um, it's pretty amazing. And the friendships I developed in a short time. I mean, I, I, chances of me ever meeting Simon is probably rare. I hardly go anywhere, let alone outside the country. But yet, I feel like I have a, a connection to him. I respect him, uh, and I consider him a friend, even though it's a friend from afar. Uh, and I could tell, if I was his next-door neighbor, that I would easily probably be close friends with him. As, long, as, as well as everybody else that I've come to know and have a friendship with on the YTPC. You know, and that's really saying something special. You know, it's, um, you know, Eric the Blue Collar Piper, we've had some exchanges back and forth, and I consider him a friend, and he's in Chicago, and, uh, Cane Rod Piper, uh, another person that, if I was within any driving distance of any of these people, there's not a doubt in my mind that I would be a, a closer friend to these people because they share many of the interests, not only the pipe, but it's that tradition of, I don't know how to put it. It's respect, but it's um, more than that. It's, I don't know, maybe because we're all about the same age and we grew up in a time where work and uh, learning things is such a, a normal thing in our generation. No, it's hard to put it into words, but I see the new generation, and and not that there's now friendships in the newer generations, but I don't know if they're as um, well-rounded, maybe, is the word, as the generation before. You know, Simon posted an interesting question last week. Are we better off today? Than years ago, and in some regards, yes, uh, through technology. But um, in other regards, no. I know it's much more stressful environment nowadays than it was years ago because everything is faster paced. It seems you're always within communication of everyone. There's no downtime. <clears throat> Basically, if you have your phone with you, you're always available. Where before, you had to be home, basically, to accept a phone call or uh, unless you went to CB radio or something like that. But, but anyway, it's... Uh, it really is a pleasure to be part of something such as YouTube community. 
and uh, I've learned a lot from a lot of you. Uh, not just about pipes, about this. I read a lot more now than I ever did. I mean, I, I always read, you know, things from my trade, but I was never just pick up, pick up a book and read type of person, which I've become now, and I've. That's because of other videos I've watched. A lot of pipe smokers read. And that sparked my uh, interest to do more of that, and I do. And I've, it, it's taught me a lot. It really has. And, uh, anyway, uh, so I'm making this video to, I guess, thank each and every one of you for posting videos and. You know, Kane Rod Piper touched on it on his Sunday shop talk, we'll call it. And, you know, if you're holding back from doing videos, do the videos. It's rewarding. Uh, it's interesting. You have to think about content. And it forces you, in some cases, to learn how to use different tools, such as editing if you're into that and like if it wasn't for Kane Rod Piper these driving videos with the picture in picture I would have never thought to do that and at first it's a little intimidating doing the picture in picture on an editing program but it's getting easier and I'm glad I know it now uh, I'm not a professional at it but I'm getting better and it's a cool way of doing a video. Um, so this is what I mean. This is the kind of little things you pick up that... How else would you do it? Uh, where would you get that idea from? The, you know, unless you see somebody else or... do something, you, it, sometimes it doesn't come to mind, especially if you, uh, I mean, I'm, in, I'm busy most all day, uh, but having exposure to different talents on uh, YouTube it really is a wonderful thing. And I feel sorry for the channels that are being demonetized, that people that depended on that money. I really, truly do. Uh, but I think there's other other avenues that, through thought, will those people will be okay. And then maybe do a spin-off of, uh, like I'm sure if Kane Rod Piper started doing woodworking videos, he would have most, if not all, his subscribers subscribe to that channel that will be allowed to be monetized. And that may be a good answer to it. You know, channels you follow, like uh, Simon, if he wanted to monetize his channel with the pipe making, I don't know if that would fall under the tobacco rules, being as a pipe, but there'd be no talk of tobacco, just had to make a pipe, which is really woodworking. That would be an interesting experiment. But I would subscribe to uh, Kane Rod Piper if he did a woodworking video or uh, what's in the shop today video type of thing. Um, I was thinking myself to do more automotive videos and create a, another channel. Or I always wanted to do barbecue videos because I do smoke and barbecue stuff a lot. And uh, that would be another nice spin-off. Anyway, that's my thoughts for today on this Monday. I hope everybody's week is starting out good. Stay cool if you're in the hot zone. Stay safe. Have a good week. And I'll catch you on the next one. And thank you, each and every one of you. Sometimes I forget to say it, but I'm saying it now.
Thank you, and I'll catch you later.